What's up everybody? This is Nick from Part-Time Pilot. So in my last video, I talked about the high level steps of how to get your private pilot's license. This video, I'm gonna go more in depth, specifically on the experience requirements. So in my last video, which by the way, you can check out by clicking the eye in the top right portion of your screen that's popping up right now. In my last video, I talked about how you need to get flight training and then endorsed by the instructor who performs your flight training. So for that instructor to endorse you, you have to meet a minimum set of flight experience requirements. So what is that minimum set of experience requirements? Well, let's look. So for part 61, so there's two parts, part 61 and part 141, we'll go over the requirements for both. Now I'm gonna have a video later on about the differences between part 61 and part 141. Let's start with part 61. So for part 61, you have to have at least 40 hours of flight time and 20 of those hours, at least 20 of those hours have to be flight training with an authorized flight structure. So that's dual flight. Okay. So that means the other 20 hours of flight time can be solo if you want to. All right. But you at least have to have 40 hours total and 20 of those have to be dual. Then the FAA breaks it down even more. All right. So of the 40 minimum training hours, three of these have to be a cross country flight. Three of these have to be night flight, and then you also have requirements for that night flight. You have to have one night flight that has to be 100 nautical mile or more night cross country flight, and then you have to have 10 takeoffs and landings to a full stop, all right? And furthermore, you have to have three hours using instrument only, so that's when your instructor puts the hood over your eyes and you can only see your instruments and you fly by instruments that so you need three hours. So three of the 40 have to be instrument only. Three of the 40 have to be practical check ride test prep. This has to be done within the two preceding calendar months from your check ride. All right, so this is you and your instructor just prepping for the test. And then 10 of the 40 have to be solo flight. So 20 have to be dual, 10 have to be solo minimum total of 40. Then within this 10 hours of solo flight, you have further requirements. Five have to be a cross country flight. So five solo cross country flight hours. And then one of those cross countries has to be 150 nautical miles or more in total distance with three full stop and landings at three separate points where one segment is a straight line distance of over 50 nautical miles. Okay, so you have to have one solo cross country that meets those requirements. And then three takeoffs and three landings to a full stop at an airport with an operating control tower. So of those total 10 hours of solo flight, you have to land and take off three times at a control tower, uh, at an airport with an operating control tower. All right, so this has been the minimum experience requirements for part 61. So what about part 141? Okay, so what are the difference here? The major difference is you have to have only 35 total hours of flight time. Okay, so instead of 40, it's 35 total hours. 20 of them still have to be with a instructor. Then you have some similarities, okay? You still have to have three hours of cross-country flight. Still have to have at least three hours of night flight. And again, 10 takeoff and landings to a full stop and one night flight cross-country. Okay, still have to have three hours of instrument-only time. Still have to have three hours of practical check ride test prep. But you only have to have five hours of solo flight and only three hours of solo cross country flight, but you still have to have a long solo cross country flight of over 150 nautical miles and three takeoffs and three landings with an operating control tower. So the only differences are the 35 hours of total flight time, the five solo flight hours, three solo cross country hours. That's the only difference between part 141 and part 61 when it comes down to the minimum experience requirements. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any questions, please comment below and then be sure to subscribe. Just hit the su subscribe button at the bottom right here because I will be doing more videos. I will be, my next videos, I'm gonna go over the proficiency requirements. So this is what your instructor is gonna look at if you're proficient at to decide whether or not he, she's gonna endorse you for the final check ride. So be sure to subscribe for that. And then as always, check me out on the other social medias. You got Facebook, you can search my group Part Time Pilot, and then on Instagram at Part Period Time Period Pilot. Thanks for watching again, and have a good day.